The Isle of the Banished. The unfortunate end of my journey. You'd think that I'm the leader of this quest. Or at the very least, the leader's helper. No. All my life, I thought they were my brothers. But now they will see to my banishment. Fools! They say I deserve this, but they have not had to live with the vision of our doom. Since I was a boy, I constantly played with sticks. I saw their potential and ways to connect them that others thought impossible. The gods were good to me, so our village grew. The elders told me I had a gift, but the village was not enough. I was convinced that the gods expected more from me. Haunted by the vision of doom, I decided to build an altar that reached the sky. I thought that would appease them, but gods had different plans for me. They split the sky in two and consumed all my work. I was banished for offending them. Me, the only one who knew the truth. Only upon seeing the flaming rocks on the Isle of the Banished up close, the truth revealed itself to me. The gods wanted me to end up here. Ah, yes, the gods wanted Fisk, the stick builder. <laughs> the man who can build with sticks. <laughs> Ooh, hello. This looks fancy, doesn't it? Come on now. He's not going to help me, is he? Oh, look at him. Such a cool mask, that. Oh, oh, hello. Thank you, sir. Oh, jumping in straight to it, are we? Eh, another day, another exile. You better prove yourself useful. Come on, did they exile your mouth too? Can you even talk? I share your tongue. Good, talk to this chieftain. Elder will see if you're useful or not. Go through the fire cave. You will have to jump from a hanging rock to find our people. Don't jump. You'll die. Simple as that. Yes, simple. Simple. True. We're not feeding anyone who doesn't contribute. So, contribute. This one time, I give you fish, cook them over my fire, you look weak, like a mouse. I don't like mice. Mice, scary. <laughs> I like this guy. I like him. You have my thanks, stranger. Thank you. Wow. Look at this place. So beautiful. I can even feel the sun so hot. Anyhow, before we go any further, I want to wish you welcome to a Tribe Primitive Builder, a completely new survival game that is released now, actually, today. So if you want to get your hands on it, you can find the game on Steam. This is what the game is all about. The only one who knows the truth. Survive on the island of lost time. Build your own settlement. Reunite your tribe. Explore the open world and deliver a message from the gods before it's too late. If that does not sound interesting, what does? I don't know. So we got some fish from this lad, didn't we? Let's see if we can do anything with it. He told us to use his fire. Um, so we have the fish right here. We can cook all of them. Perfect. And with that, I think we're going to go through right here. We got the food. Eat a little bit, just fill up. And then builder, craftsman, woodcutter, gatherer, hunter, and miner. So we got a bunch of different skills that I'm guessing that we're going to be able to level up. Yeah, you can already see craftsman right here. Uh, and then we have the altar, axe, hoe, oh, pickaxe, da da danger. <laughs> I wanted to say da da dagger, Jesus. So I guess this is skills that we're going to be able to, yeah, gift food, gift of skill. All right. Yeah, we're going to be able to unlock some skills at the altar, I take it. And then we have the tribe, which... Ooh, we already have a population of four. So this is the thing, right? It's kind of a city builder or whatever you call it. Uh, you're going to build a settlement. You're going to gather people, find exiles, and build your own, uh, own little community, I guess. And I'm ex super excited about that and see how that's actually going to work. I love is, like managing stuff like that. And if they mix that together with the uh, survival, I'm in for it. 
And we have the map. Jesus, look at this. It's a big old map, ain't it? Oh boy, we have a lot to do. <laughs> so, as the first episode, if you guys want to see more episodes of this, let me know by the end of the video uh, by liking or commenting down below. Oh, you know the drill, right? What I was about to say, what we're going to do this first part, we're going to focus on obviously looking around, find the robes. But uh, usually what I want to do in survival games is to find a good source of food and a nice source of water so we can just survive without stressing out. Usually I'm really good at stressing out. Yoink, yoink. So we got some sticks and we need to talk to the elder. So let's just follow, what did they call it? The fiery cave? I don't know. All I know, this is super pretty. And pick the stone up. Ah, there we go. I didn't see any craft menus, but I guess we're gonna get to that. And we need to fill up on water as well. Look at that. Pretty. I don't know if it's me getting older, but I'm starting to um, appreciate uh, greens. Like, uh, <laughs> what am I talking about? Like flowers and shit in my home, I guess. And go, yoink, yoink. Look at that. Lava and shite. You know what? I'm going to pick everything up right here. Just to be sure. I'm pretty sure that we're going to be using... Ah! There you go. Gatherer 3. Look at me go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to have use for everything. Ah, there we go. Stone. So we can pick this stone. It's kind of... What does it say? Blue stone? Maybe it's something special with it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can't use any stones for tools, right? They need to be the correct density, I guess. Just like my brain. All right, I'm happy with that. We can't pick these. Okay, it seems like we need a knife to cut those down. Dude, this is so pretty. So vuberunt. I think this island is way better than the one that we actually got uh, thrown out of, right? Don't jump. All right, we're not going to jump. He told us not to jump, right? So let's just... <laughs> Perfect. Yoink. What's that? Big leave? <laughs> God damn it. I do that all the time. Gatherer 5. Look at us go. We're racing, racing, rising through the ranks. Oh, yeah. We got more stone. And then up to the right, we can see when the night is upon us. And I think we have the villagers as well because we had four. Hey, I see people. Oh, that's the elders. Or oh, elderer. The OG. Let's speak to him. Ah, God giveth yet again. Greetings, fellow exile. By the great birds, you look awful. I have no use for tired exiles. Go drink some water and sleep. Use my tatami for now. Come find me when your body feels stronger. Okay, I don't know if that's the voice we're going to use for the elder. Maybe we're just going to read it straight off. Thank you, wise leader. Uh, clench thirst and take a nap. Ooh, yellow grass. So it seems like you have plots where you're going to be able to grow stuff. That's cool. What's this then? Herbs? For medication, I take it. That's so cool. I don't know why I'm just uh, taking everything and putting it in my pocket. Oh! Now, look at this. The contraption for... This is a huge rain catcher, right? The pure rain rains down and drips down here. Yes, clean water. Love it. Wait, we have a mask as well? All right. I'll take it. Just gonna see if I can wash myself. Yeah, I can! <laughs> Look at me, Elder. I'm washing myself in your clean water. Contamination. All right, let's get some sleep, shall we? I like the dripping. And here we go. Let's get some shut eye. Or maybe five hours. Yeah, let's fill that up. And it's raining. Listen to that. I love it. Talk to the elder. We can do that. What's up, big fella? 
You grow stronger by the minute. I see that our little comforts make a big difference. The time has come now, fellow exile. You must build yourself a hut. You can't keep sleeping in my tatami. You're going to need tools. My workshop is right there. Craft the necessary tools there. Everything you need to begin can be found on this island. All right, my dude. Thank you, vines. Okay, we found vines. We found the stones. But we need... Okay, yeah, we need a knife. We're gonna craft that then. So let's go up, craft the knife. And then we're gonna cut those vines down. Hey, hey! Is that my waifu? Super pretty. Yoink. Yoink. And here we go. So we need to go to the crafting bench to actually craft. Makes sense. So get one knife. There we go. Drag that down. And we're all good to go. Look at me, Elder. I'm not that left-handed. And zoop. Zoop, zoop. Oh, you can just hold down the button. That is so nice. I've been running around just clicking like crazy. But in games where you have to loot... It's just so nice that you can hold it down, run around, and aim for what you, what you want to pick up, you know? Ah! We got what we need. Let's... Hello. We got what we need to make an axe. Ooh, I kind of want to make the spear. Just wait with that. I don't want to jump anything, you know? Craftman too. Look at me go. This is actually going really well. I'm surprised. Wait. Craft an axe. I did. Craft a knife. I also did. I... I built a hammer. Here I am, bragging how I'm not that left-handed. Can't even see the difference between the hammer and the axe. Good on you, Fishkipoo. Good on you. Let's talk to the elder again. I see you crafted yourself so, so mighty tools. Good. Now it's time to build a hut. I need my men well rested. I find them more useful that way. Best find a place beneath sunlight. <laughs> sunlight? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. I accept. Now you will need wood. Wood and bamboo. Search outside, follow the path. Should be easy enough. Just look to your right and be vigilant. If you want to save time, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to listen to you to save time. That's it, easy as that, dude. The elder talks way too much. Start construction. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Q. Primitive, the workshop. Okay, so that's all what we have. Workshop, and then we have sleep hut, medium sleep hut. Perfect. We got food, fisher's hut, hunter's hut, farm hut, cook's hut. Dude! There's so much we're gonna be able to do with production. Whoa, wait. Gatherer, shimoon, woodcutters, potters, stone cutters, storage hut, marketplace, and tool maker's hut. Dude. Oh my lord, this is gonna be interesting. Yoink, 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 yoink. Should we grab some stone, maybe? Oh, all right. Ah, there it is, look at that. Wait, 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 with the hammer, let's see here. Inventory, slap the hammer down there. You think I can break this down? To start demolition, empty the storage. Ooh, a yoink. Ooh, that's giving us loads. All right, so if we find any form of old structures, let's just beat them down. It seems like we have a... But yeah, we got a bunch of wood. Not too much bamboo, though. Uh, start construction. Grab resources from storage. I mean, we might be able to do it without it, right? So let's see. We need private and workshop. The building spirit will turn blue when it's possible to build and the ground is flat enough. Dude, I kind of like that. And we can root it this way. The building spirit instead of a blueprint. Yeah, I like it. Let's see. Can I put it? Yeah, here we go. My new workshop. Look at us go. So then we just put it down. Oh, one plank at a time. Ooh, that's satisfying. Uh, all right, so we ran out of bamboo, so let's go get that. 
We're gonna take these for now, but the thing is, I don't like deforesting around where I'm gonna build my camp, right? Because it looks so bare when you start doing that. I love the greens, dude. Eh! Okay, so one chop gives you five. Oh, that's perfect. Woodcutter too. You know what? I'm going to deforest this area right here. So I'll be right back with you. Ooh. Nice. So you're cutting chunks out. It's like uh, the forest, right? I was about to kill myself. <laughs> Catch a log to my face. All right, as I said, I'm going to deforest this because I, I'm pretty sure we're going to use a lot of bamboo and a lot of wood. So let's just get that out of the way right now. I'll catch you in a second. Woodcutter 6, look at me go. <clears throat> get the lost logs. Look at that. I'm so tired. I'm all depleted. But look at this. How about that? Being efficient. This is something <laughs> completely new to me. Let's get a little bit of food. And I think I actually saw some water. Yeah, there you go. Look how pretty this is. Hopefully I can drink out of this. Look at that. The Lion King cliff going out over the water. I would love to. Do you know what? Nah. <laughs> you know what I'm about to say, don't you? <laughs> I really want to put my hut down here, don't I? Yeah, yeah, I have a problem. I have a problem. Let's go and get the hut ready. We need to get some sleep. Ugh. There you go. <laughs> You're exhausted. Get some sleep and regain your energy. Yeah, so let's build this. I'm going to start taking damage. Yeah, everything I do now is just damaging me. I don't know. <laughs> Am I going to die making Ugh. this? Builder two, there we go. Yeah, no, I should have enough health to do this, right? We're gonna sleep on it as well. The building is so... What do you call it? Shit! Need more grass. Let's actually go and sleep uh, over at the elders then. Or maybe we can get some grass over here. Yoink, 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 yoink. What was I about to say? The, the building is very satisfying. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, that's what we use the big leaves for. All right, where's the bed? Whoo-wee! That took half of my health. Let's get some sleep before we find the elder. There we go. It's all quiet now off the rain. It should be in the middle of the night, right? I think I set it to... Uh, 12 a.m. Look at our hut, dude. This is so pretty. I love the design of that. The health is back up. We need something to eat, though. We can't forget our mission to fix the food situation and the water situation. I'm gonna... Okay, so this is the uh, the storage. This is what where it wanted me to go down in the beginning, where I could grab shite, I take it. There you go. So we had grass and stuff like that in here. So, but we, we got a good amount ourselves. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's uh, let's go talk to the elder. Hopefully, he's gonna show us how to get some food in our belly. Look at this guy. Such cool armor or oh, mask. I guess he doesn't have any. Well, that you know what? The forearms got armor, right? Here he is, elder. Let's call him Glenn. I think that's a good name, right? Or what should we call him? Exile, you made your hut yet? Yes, I did, indeed. Good. It's time to learn how to Good feed now. yourself. Okay, no. that's perfect. Good. I accept, dude. I didn't listen once again. I just saw food and I uh, felt... Uh, excited. Very excited. Wait, do we have northern lights here? Ooh, volcano. All right, there's so many new shiny things. You guys know we go through this every time I find it. <laughs> a new survival game. There's so many different shiny things. But look at our house. Top tier. Uh, why am I out walking? Oh, yeah, yeah, crafting, right? I think we had a crafting table in here. There you go. And we need to make a crude spear. 
And I'm taking, we're gonna use this to, uh, let's just sort this out, to hunt, right? Catch a fish, you use Hawkeye. All right, alt, let's see. When you spot a fish, seagull or turkey, aim your spear and throw it to get a valuable resource. Roger that, so we can actually hunt the, uh, okay, no, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? I've, I've, I've seen bunnies around here, so we should be able to get those as well, I take it. Oh, look at him. Standing on the edge like that, just looking out. How majestic. I love that. This is so cool, and it's so smooth as well. It's such a smooth experience. Wait. Over here? Oh, you want... Wait, isn't it easier if I just stand inside with the fish? <laughs> Got him! All right, let's get a couple of these guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> there we go. We got uh, we got ten of them. That was uh, pretty easy, I got to say. But as the tribe grows, yeah, we need to tear that one down as well. As Oh no, that was probably someone's pet, wasn't it? It looked a little bit domesticated. <laughs> it wasn't moving. I'm horrible. <laughs> what was I about to say? I was about to say, yeah, as the tribe grows, I think it's going to be harder for me to just fish myself, right? So we're going to find more people uh, to help me out. Just grow stuff and fish and hunt and stuff like that. Dude, it's going to be so cool, man. Uh, let's cook some food be before we talk to the elder. We're gonna get a little bit of moot. Perfect. Easy to easy to fill up from the inventory. I like that. So far, the inventory has been really nice. Very fluent. I like it. Greg, Glenn. Oxygen. Exile, have you I caught? Yes, I got some fish for you. I did. Great. Just remember to use the great gift of fire. Dude, I, I already did it. You know it. Oh, boy. Who did I piss off? What did I anger? <laughs> Have you felt that, Exile? Fire Mountains has grown angry with us. It means that gods disapprove. Oh my god, I, dis I pissed off the gods even. <laughs> Perform rituals at the altar to unlock access to blueprints for new building and uh, buildings and items. Remember to check the cost of the ritual before going to the altar. Wait, can I do that on O then? There you go. So to unlock, we need one incense. Is that what we call it? Incense? And when we do that, we're going to unlock the talisman and bamboo totem. Sleep hut and fisher's hut. Perfect. So that means if we get the fish out, we're going to actually have a source of food. So that's good. That's what we're aiming for. We already have the water source. So that's all set. Wow, look at that. Dude, this is super pretty, and it's very, it's easy on the eye, and it's, uh, it feels like the leveling and also the gathering, it's really, like, it's not too grindy. It's a very nice balance to it, and that's really good for the game just being released. For sure. Let's get some stuff. We need some uh, yellow, yellow grass and some herbs. We had the yellow grass over this way, but I want to believe I saw some herbs over that way. I don't know. By the water. I know that we have herbs back at... Do you say herbs or herbs? I know that we have that over at the garden, though, inside the the cave. But uh, I'd rather do some exploring here to uh, check it out. I think I saw something over here. No? More grass. Because I said as I said before, we're going to manage a bunch of people. We're going to manage a whole... Uh, not city. What do you call it? A tribe. It's we, we're gonna be using a lot of resources. That one. That's what I'm trying to get to. Is sometimes it's hard to be Swedish. <laughs> Having a second language and all, you know. <laughs> as long as you guys understand me, and I don't know how often you do. Oh wait, here we go. Yoink, yoink, yoink. That's the herbs. I think we already had all the herbs that we needed, right? Yeah, it was green before, but now we know. 
We have a herbs growing over here and we made it to the, the, the gather herbs and I don't know why I can't speak. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There we go. And one of those, please. Perfect. Uh, find the entrance to the cave. We can do that. So it seems like we don't really have any stamina on it when we run. And I'm happy about that. But it seems because it seems like we're going to be doing a lot of running. Let's just follow these. I wonder when I see stuff like this, I wonder how many tribes there are out there that we don't know about that even don't know that we exist, right? That's, it's so cool. But they can be so dangerous as well. I've seen some stuff over on YouTube before I came to this island. Here we go. We got it. Choose ritual and press O. Uh, place the incense on the altar. Wait for the ritual to uh, complete. Yes, we can do that. You know what? Let's... Uh Yoink some vines right here before we go in. I'm just trying to stay uh, prepared, you know, to make it easy for myself. Uh, usually I don't do that. Usually I do stuff the other way around. Ooh. Dude, this is creeping away, isn't it? Look at that guy. Looks like, what, what, what's his name? The octopus thing? Shatulu. Something like that. Dude, it's huge in here. All right, let's do some offerings, I guess. And yeah, here we go. So we're going to unlock the axe. We can't unlock these yet. So I think you need to finish one constellation before you go on to the other one. I don't think I can jump between. So we'll see, I guess. Uh, place that down. hey -o! What is this? A vision? Oh no, the Vikings! <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, he's, saying, he's going grease on us, isn't he? He's, he's flying away. He's gone. Sleep hut unlocked. Perfect. Bamboo totem as well. And then it was the fishing talisman. No, yeah, the fishing hut as well, right? There you go. So let's go back and inform the elders about your vision. Yeah, so that was a vision. Perfect. And I'm pretty sure we haven't eaten any mushrooms to get ourselves high or anything like that. So that's, that's a, a sober vision right there, dude. Ah! Mr. Elder, Mr. OG, it's me, Fisky Poo. I did what you asked me to do. It's so nice to have an elder on the island. Imagine if I had to figure all of this out on my on my own. It's just so much easier to have someone that's been going through all of this be uh, the, before me. Hey, have you performed the rituals? Yes, I have. I love the language they have. It sounds really, really cool. I did what you asked. I did what you asked. I saw something strange. A vision. Fire Mountains was angry. Fire everywhere. Also, strange signs. A big boat. I feel crazy. Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. At last. The uh -huh. gods have chosen. You must be our savior. Dude, that's what I'm here for. I'm just here to save, dude. Uh, big tribe will need a lot of food to sustain it. Build a hut for a fisherman. We'll do that. Perfect! That means, wait, gods have sent you here for a reason. Find me when the fisherman's hut is done. Will do, sir. The cost of advanced rituals and special huts is high. Make your tribesmen work for you to collect enough resources and let you focus on management. All right, perfect. I like that. So let's get down to the water. Do we have everything that we need to make a hut? Yes, we do. This is what I mean. Look at the, those resources that we have right now. Just because I took a little bit of time just gathering shit. That is so good. And then when we get everything up and running, I'm going to be, use, uh, be using all the other exiles or tribe members. Okay, breathe this <laughs> to collect everything for me. It's going to be great. It's going to be so good. Uh, use the map to find a river. Ta-da! Found a river. We're just gonna go down here and tear that up. 
I'm thinking just underneath here. Just put it right here. Just underneath. Oh, dude, that's... Oh, yeah, it's gonna look sick. This place is beautiful. Holy moly. Imagine the rest of that. We have so much to explore. I'm so excited for it. Okay, so food, fishers, fisherman hut. Oh, look at that. It might actually... Come on, come on. Work, work. Yes! Don't tell me. Is this actually going to work as a... Dude, this actually works as a bridge as well. This is perfect. Oh, I love this. Yellow grass. Put that down. I'm getting so excited by this. gonna slap this down and this as well it's the same with building you just hold down the button button you don't have to spam anything that is so nice put some grass on look at us go on the other side as well i'm <laughs> so excited by this i love this like managing stuff and that mixed with survival this is two of my favorite genres just put together i love it and then that is actually just smooth and just working this well on release is just great. Are we done? What am I missing? Out here? Oh, the totem! Why though? All right, let's go back and get that. I guess we're gonna get the answer as soon as we build it, eh? Ah! Here we go. And talisman. Uh, that's for rituals and totem. Every workshop needs a totem to work. All right, there we go. Get one then. We have so many resources and I love it. Craftman. Look at us go, dude. It's going so well. This is so different from... <laughs> Put it down and uh, quest updated. Find the elder, dude. Mr. Elder likes to talk a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, Greetings, Exile. What's oh, no, new? I've done what you asked. Fisherman, hu Fisherman Hut is done. That's good. Time to make the tribesmen work. Yes. Bring tools. Place a torch in the totem by hut the hut's door. More torches mean more workers. The signal seems simple enough, eh? It's Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we can figure this out. Uh, food and tools to the fisherman hut. Got it. They are very straight to the point as well. For someone that's really dyslexic and stupid, <laughs> it's really nice. I love it. Uh, let's get some sleep in as well. I'm get. I'm so. I'm so excited for this, dude. I, I really am. And I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it as well. Uh, craft a spear. We already have the spear, right? So let's just take this and put it in. Uh. Drag this in. So that should work now, right? Workers. Do we have five people? No. Can I wing this? Let's see. No, we have four. Workshop. Let's put two in there to work right now then. And then we need food ra rations. So you need to feed your workers and you need to give them tools. That's perfect for this to work. Okay. Uh, status assigned to village storage. Okay, so I take... If I put village storage, everything they catch is gonna go to the storage underneath the rocks, right? In the little cave. And then we're gonna switch production. Can I... What does this mean? We need a lot of food, right? So... 40, I guess? I don't really know why I need to uh, have a production cap. Maybe that's something for the future when it comes down to having resources in the huts and stuff like that, right? But by the looks of it as well, it looks like this is the village story, but then we're gonna be able to make huts as well. We saw a uh, storage hut before, so uh, I guess those are gonna show up here. Hopefully we can name them, and then we're gonna be able to assign, like, let's say, food for one uh, timber or whatever for another one and such uh, and stuff like that that should be it but why won't it start workshop do not run at night dude it's so informative it's crazy so obviously they need to sleep let's just talk to the elder and get some sleep uh, for ourselves as well to see how that's gonna work he never sleeps this guy look at that you can see it on the skin he's old as, as the gods <laughs> his skin is, is has turned into leather 
Am I, I think I'm blocking him. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go on now. Greet the next side. What's new? Uh, I brought the tools. Good, just remember, tribes need to sleep too. Yeah, that's what I uh, figured. You must bring food for the workers. We've done that. You must fry the fish first. Okay, obviously they uh, catch it, but they, we need to uh, cook it. Oh, build a cook hut now. There you go. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We could do that while they are sleeping then, I guess. Craft an incense and craft a talisman. Oh, it seems like we need to go back to the cave and unlock that shite, don't we? Joseph, how's it going? <laughs> Imagine just naming all of these statues. <laughs> Would be pretty funny. His name is Greg. He looks like a Greg, doesn't he? Hello, gods. Let's see what I got for you today. I got the incense and the talisman. Unlocked. No visions. All right, I'll take it. Cook's hut. Let's get back and slap that up. Ooh. Water skin. Yeah, we're going to make that for sure. Let's get back and let's get crafting, eh? Yoink, yoink, yoink. To be honest, what you do, this field. So much room for activities. This is really cool. I like this place. But what you could do before you start building and start getting uh, tribe members, you could just go out and loot everything. Just spend a couple of hours, loot everything, stack up that storage. Stack up? St st stack up in that storage and you're going to be all bueno. You're going to get a hell of a kickstart if you do that for sure. Oh, wait. Uh, wait, I'm torn between this now. Let's uh, first off uh, craft what was I'm talking about. The water skin, right? Have that right here. Let's see how this works. Maybe I need to put it in my toolbar, but I don't think so. Let's see, drink and water skin. Okay, so when you drink, you fill the water skin up as well. Perfect. And we need to eat a little bit. Did I have anything cooked? No. Oh, I forgot that. I need to. That's why I need the cooker hut, right? I'm being an idiot. Sorry about that. Uh, I think what we could do is put that right... Where should we? Wait, wait, wait. Let's see how it looks first of all. Oh, shit. I can pin what I need to build it on the uh, on the right right there. So I have everything. So this is going to go quick. Uh, cooker's hut. We're going to be... Okay, so it's closed off that way, is it? Uh, where do I want to put... This is really important. Some of you might think, Oh, fish, why don't you just put it down? This is actually really important. You don't want to put it somewhere where you can't move it later on, you know? You want it in a aesthetically pleasing place. I know I can't be the only one, right? Where the fuck should I put it? You know what? Let's put it right here. Is that going to be ugly, though? Shit. I don't know if I screwed that up. I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep on going with this, though. To be honest, I would still be all, like, yeah, uncertain. Uncertain? Doesn't matter where I would put it. I could spend time in Age of Empires just building my uh, my cities, you know? Just to be pleasing on me eye. There you go. As I said, I don't think I'm the only one. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is going to be... Wait, that's a chimney, isn't it? This is going to be very cool. All right. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's look at this from the outside. Look at that. The chimney is going to go out there. It blends into the stone. That's going to... I think that could be cool. That might end up looking sweet. I know it's clipping through, but... It kind of looks like it's not right. It looks like it's built that way. In before the smoke is not gonna get out. <laughs> My worker is gonna, just gonna drop dead in here. <laughs> oh no, this the smoke in pollution. All right, we, <laughs> we need a totem as well. Blip, blip. Huh? Find the elder. Wait, wait, wait. What do you need? First of all, you need a knife. Let's give them mine. They need some cooked food and required resources. Why do you need? Oh yeah, obviously they need what they 
or it's like they need the fish to cook right i'm just being a little bit stupido i think i need to get some chicken going or what no rabbits i guess to put in there as well uh yo 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 what's up uh, i took care of it good now just remember the tribe needs to eat we're gonna we're gonna fix that uh so i will no longer bring the food no 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 so okay I've been drinking way too much coffee this morning to listen to you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> to connect huts, uh, which each other assign them to the storage in the tribe panel. The more carriers in the storage, the more huts can be connected to it. Oh, so what you need workers in the uh, hut itself. And then you need uh, gatherers that goes back and forth. Just bring it. Let's say he needs more fish. He goes to the storage. He grabs that. But for the fish to get here, this uh, this guy needs to go down to uh, the fisher's hut to get that and leave there. So, okay. All right. All right. All right. I see. I see. I see. That's so cool. I love it. Everything is coming together. I'm so happy that I understand what's going on. Uh, Fish. No. Rabbit. Four. Perfect. That's what we need. Craftman 4. So, wait. Cooking food is craftman? Maybe. I don't know. I would say that would be cooking, right? Uh, 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 uh. Let's uh, put the shite in here. And then we're gonna hire some staff. Yes. Here you go. Got some food. Standby. Village storage. We're gonna sign one there. And then we're gonna have two... Uh, dudes, let's see, tribes. Oh, they need a new spear? Alright, let's let's uh, get that. And then we're gonna hire staff for the storage as well. Ooh, that should work as well, right? So now when I have the spear, I should be able to put the tools they need in there as well. For them to uh, go get it when I'm not around right put it in keep on working my dudes and then uh, i already assigned one over yeah, yeah yeah look at that he's already cooking uh, we could just put all the fish in here and there you go mate work away you know what i'm gonna steal this num 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 put some food in for him i mean he should be able to eat directly from this like the food rations right Oh, that might be a stupid idea. <laughs> he would just eat... If I forgot about him, he just would eat all the food. And I'm pretty sure the Elder told me that he will keep an eye on all the tribe members so they don't eat over what we have. Uh, hire... Storage. There you go. So, hire two carriers. Uh, marketplace. We're going to be able to make marketplaces as well? Dude, imagine if there's more tribes on this island that we're, we're going to be able to trade between. Oh, <gasps> Dude, that would be amazing. Ima oh my god, imagine. Okay, so this is not multiplayer. I I'm pretty sure some of you guys already asked that down below. But uh, yes, it's not multiplayer. But imagine if this was and you were able to have different tribes on the island. Let's uh, say me, Fooster, Olaf, and Taco had each our own tribes scattered around and we could actually trade with each other. Ooh, that would be so badass, dude. All right, Leatherface, what's up? What brings you to me? I have found us the right carrier. All right, splendid. Now that you don't have to worry about food. Uh, so talk to our scout. Okay, so we're going to be able to find more exiles. So what we need to do now is to go out into the wilderness of this vast land. Look at that. And bring home some more tribes member to make this place flourish. So, I think that's where we're going to call it today. If you guys want to see more, as I said in the beginning, remember to like and comment down below. For now, though, my name is Fisk. Thank you for watching.